everyone welcome back this is Ryan and today I'm just going to do an update on Bitcoin because since my earlier video back here when I outlined that we wanted to come down take this liquidity and come up here and take this liquidity it's exactly what we've done um, but the reaction that we've got from this zone here and the price movement up to the red zone suggests it might be corrective so I think we're probably on our way down now to this green region so we've nailed these moves um, I think the next move from this reaction that we've seen is probably a move down to this green region to recover most of this candle here going back to one of my earlier videos eight days ago and um, you can see it's exactly what we got we got the move down that we wanted to get this liquidity and we've got the move up that we wanted um, let me go into a little bit more detail now as to why I think we go down next because we've nailed pretty much every move in this range um, and at some point we're going to be wrong um, you can't, can't nail every move but I think we go down next so just popping over to my Twitter here you can see a couple of scenarios I outlined here for Bitcoin um, and I think the red the red scenario is what we're getting because of how we came up in in this B wave here it's sort of like a corrective structure a free free five structure that's often followed by a dump below these regions um, so I'm sort of expecting the green region to come into play next but another reason really is to why I think we go down is because I said one to keep an eye on was the 786 retrace because it lined up exactly with the liquidity zone that we was wanting to be taken um, so to visualize that I'll just take the Fib retrace so you can get a better view from top to the bottom you can see the 786 came exactly to this liquidity zone so it's no surprise really that we've got a big reaction from here so I am sort of expecting a five wave move down to this green region now and then we'll, we'll analyze how the structure looks from there and where we go from there so if a move down is what we come, what we're going to get next, I would sort of be expecting this sort of this sort of pattern to be playing out. As I just said, a five wave move down. But to get some measurements for that, we would be looking to take the top of this move to the bottom of this move to the top of this move on the trend based fibs, and you can see the one the one extension and the one two three six extension comes right around the region that we're wanting to see come into play so that's a bit of confluence that we've got as to why i think this sort of green area here is going to be coming into play um i like to look for confluence and everything's sort of adding up that we're going to sort of come down get this region tag this region get this liquidity from this candle that has not been touched um and see where we go from there because the first initial move was looking quite impulsive and i still think it is i think this is just one big corrective structure um so we'd probably be looking for longs again after this green region gets hit but it's a bit of an uncertain time in the market at the minute the SPX is looking a bit a bit toppy um, so I think a correction in the SPX would correlate with this move down here um, but Ethereum is showing a little bit more strength than Bitcoin at the minute um, so I think Ethereum it's a tough one because the, the structure on Ethereum is sort of looking like a leading leading diagonal really um, so I would expect maybe a little bit of a, a break on Ethereum to come down like this and that maybe correlate with the move that we're getting Bitcoin and the SPX um, so a lot of correlations coming into play right now and this might end up just being sort of like a, a running flat for Ethereum um, in a little bit more of a bullish structure than Bitcoin so we'll, we'll analyze that one as it comes I think that's all there really is to round up on Bitcoin at the moment this is the wave structure I'd be looking for to come down to the green region and then if we get there we'll analyze what's going to happen next but I hope this has been useful you can see the way the market maker works he likes to grab liquidity and take people's money but if you can sort of analyze that and try and predict what the market maker is going to do and have your own plan you can actually benefit from it but don't forget it's not financial advice not a financial advisor but i hope this anal analysis has helped um don't forget to like comment subscribe it really helps cheers guys i'll see you next time